All right, another way that we can figure out um, our, side, our side lengths or our angles of our triangles, and most specifically of our right triangles that we've been talking about, is using trigonometry. Um, this is something that is probably new to you, but you'll use it in um, things like physics and in pre-cal and calculus and beyond. So we're just going to touch the surface of it and keep it as simple as we can. So what is trigonometry? It is the study of triangle measurements. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Measures on the outside and um, angles on the inside. So we've got three trigonometry functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. So let's break each of them down and what they mean. So we abbreviate sine with S-I-N is sine, not sin, don't say sin. So sine of theta, this just means an angle, equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. So theta equals an angle. And when we're talking opposite, hypotenuse, and then um, in a second we'll talk about adjacent. We're talking about the outside lengths of the triangle. Okay, so let's see what this means. Sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so sine of A, so A is our angle. So this one right here. So opposite over hypotenuse. We're talking about the location of the sides based on this angle. So the one that is across from it is opposite. And remember the side that is across from our right angle is our hypotenuse. Always, 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 always. And this one, just to note right here that if our angle is A, this side that is right next to it, that's not the hypotenuse, is the adjacent side. Okay, for sine, we're talking about opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite, 12 over hypotenuse, 13. That's it. That's all we're going to be looking at right now. We'll go into more detail later. Um, so then sine of B, if our angle is here, then the opposite side is 5 now. So then that would be 5 over 13. Our hypotenuse is never going to change no matter what angle we're talking about. Um, another important thing to note is our trigonometry ratios are always going to be using these two angles. It's never going to be up at 90 degrees. All right, let's look at cosine. We abbreviate that with COS. We still say cosine. So cosine theta of an angle is going to be our adjacent over hypotenuse. That's our hypotenuse. Okay, so this time we're going to be looking at the one that's adjacent. So our, our um, theta, our angle is at A, and we're looking at the sides in relation to A. So this one that's across from here is our hypotenuse always, 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 always. So that means that we need to determine which one of these is our adjacent one. Adjacent means next to, so this is the side that is next to our angle. That's not our hypotenuse, so this is our adjacent. So cosine of A is adjacent over hypotenuse, 5 over 13. Okay, let's look at the cosine of B then. Hypotenuse doesn't change, so 13 is going to be on the bottom. But this time, the side that is next to this angle, that's not the hypotenuse, is this one. So this time, 12 is the adjacent. 
Okay, I'm running this really quickly. <laughs> so, um, ask questions when they come up. So we abbreviate tangent as tan. So tan of the angle is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. So this time we're not dealing with any hypotenuse. So this is going to be our hypotenuse always. But whenever we're talking about tangent, we're not using this side at all. I don't really want to mark this through, but I'm going to. <laughs> okay. So we want tangent of A, so here's our angle, then we need to label our sides. We're only looking at these two sides. Remember the one that's next to the angle, that's not the hypotenuse, is adjacent. Adjacent means next to, and that means that the one across from it is the opposite. So for tangent of A, we're putting opposite 12 over adjacent of all right, let's look at B, tangent of B then. Now, this 12 would be adjacent because it's next to that angle, and then opposite would be five. So tangent of B is five over 12. All right, one way to remember what goes what is what was written underneath here. So. We can say this weird word that's made up, so-ka-toa, so-ka-toa. So you can remember, so-ka-toa, then you can remember what goes where because sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. And cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So soka toa, if you can remember that, you might want to write this down. Uh, then you can remember what is what goes where. Soka toa. Alright, tune into the next video for examples.